O victory, O victory, where hast thou gone? It's true, victory's done. It's gonna be okay though, we're gonna get through it guys. <laughs> Turn the camera off. Yep, it's true, Polaris is ceasing all production of Victory motorcycles, effective immediately. Victory, no moss, no more, done. Got the axe. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here, lawbitingbiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. It is true, Polaris announced that they are ceasing all production of Victory motorcycles, effective immediately, and I know that comes as, as a surprise to many in the lawbiting biker community. On the other hand, I don't think it came as a surprise to Polaris as sales have been down for many years. Many of you know Victory is owned by Polaris and began back in 1998, uh, and their sales peaked in 2012. Uh, since then, their sales have declined, and in 2015, uh, Victory accounted for only 3% of all Polaris sales, so I think they saw the writing on the wall. Additionally, it's reported that Victory was only selling, each dealership was only selling about 20 Victories a year, and there's about 400 Victory dealerships. Uh, 18 years Victory's been making those motorcycles, and I know there's a lot of diehard Victory owners out there in the law-abiding biker community, and uh, it just plain sucks, I know. Now, although I primarily ride Harley-Davidson motorcycles, uh, have ridden victories and in fact Big Daddy Kane right here at Law Abiding Biker Media last year bought a 2016 Victory Magnum and uh, did a complete video and walk around on that guys uh, link in the description below pretty badass bike um, have nothing against victories I think they were a competitor to Harley Davidson although Harley Davidson is holding the market share regardless of victory or Indian which Polaris also owns Indian um, but again, it was really a preference. Um, a lot of you liked the look of the Victory. They had a different look, although they were modeled somewhat after the Street Glide, the Harley Davidson Street Glide with the Batwing fairing and things like that. They did change things up. They had a much more futuristic look. The bags were more rounded. So really when it came down to it, it was a personal preference. And of course, uh, I think their motors and transmissions and all that were very solid um, throughout the years and there wasn't a lot of problems. Of course, they had recalls like everybody every motorcycle manufactured, but overall I think it was a really solid bike and it fit, fit the needs for many. And uh, that Magnum, that 2016 Magnum, they were pushing a little bit, uh, pushing the industry, which was cool because it was the, the uh, first production bike, uh, I believe, to have the largest front wheel, which was that 21 inch wheel. So uh, it, it does suck. And again, I'm kind of Harley centric, but I really had a lot of respect for the Victory motorcycle. So I know the first thing a Victory owner out there that may be watching is wondering, what am I gonna do? Well, have no fear, Polaris is a very big company. Of course, Indian slingshot and uh, snowmobiles and all kinds of stuff. Um, they have uh, stated that they are going to provide the warranty up to 10 years on the Victory motorcycles along with parts and service. I will tell you that uh, that might get just a little bit scarce. That would just be my opinion, but don't worry about it, guys, because we've had a video out, uh, rave reviews on this video, and uh, you can do the maintenance yourself, and it does not void your warranty, guys. Just like on a Harley or anything else, it's the Magnus and Moss Warranty Act. You're covered. You can do the services yourself. We have a video for you guys, and uh, I'll pop a card right about there. It's how to do a routine maintenance and oil change on your 2009 or newer Victory motorcycle with that 106 uh, V-Twin Freedom motor, guys. We got your back on that, and for years to come, you can service your own Victory. Also, link in the description below. So the big question is, why did Polaris go and do this? Well, Polaris owns Indian motorcycles also, guys. Um, and Polaris is a very big company, and so they make a lot of different things. Polaris, Victory, and Indian have been chasing Hardy Davidson for many years. Um, it's just a fact, guys. Hardy Davidson has held the market share, and everybody knows that, especially with their Street Glide model. A lot of bikes are modeled after the Hardy Davidson Street Glide, which is a uh, a bestseller for year after year here in the United States for Hardy Davidson, and so. Polaris is trying to get a piece of that market share, understandable. That's good because it keeps Harley on top of things too, um, putting out their new bikes. So it's just that, that competition and we all need that so these manufacturers push the envelope. Um, and I think Polaris saw that Victory was going down. They've really been focusing on the Indian motorcycle lately, which is an awesome bike. And uh, I think because they were losing money and sales, they're gonna take all that extra uh, uh, money 
and, and R&D and whatever they need to do and put it directly into Indian. And I think by doing that, although we're sad to see the victory go, I think by focusing all their efforts on a cruiser type motorcycle that can compete with the Harley Davidson Street Glide and the Harley Davidson Ultra Classics and things like that. I think they have a really good shot at putting that energy into the Indian and they can probably take uh, more market share away from Harley Davidson by doing that. That's just my opinion. I'm really curious what you guys think about this maneuver of Polaris to do this. I know it saddens a lot of you out there, but please comment below guys, get the discussion going. Um, I know the community is very involved in the comments and uh, I'm curious to read some of them and see what you guys think. So if you're a victory owner right now, what do you do? Well, you got a couple options. Either hang on to it. Again, 10 years, they're gonna provide parts and warranty and all that kind of stuff, or put it up for sale. There may be some people that wanna get a hold of these kind of as a you know long-term collector item. Um, I think Big Daddy Kane is just gonna keep his here and like I say, we can do all the service on it anyway, so no big deal. Also, you might wanna check your dealerships because I know Polaris is gonna assist their dealerships in moving all the current inventory since they aren't making any anymore. They're gonna help them liquidate, so to speak, and so you might get some really good deals down at your Victory dealership. Yep, those are my thoughts. What do you think? Really, it's gonna be okay, guys. We're gonna get through it together. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, guys, so you're notified when we come out with new free videos because we have a ton in the work for you guys. Like it, guys. Share it with all your biker friends. I hope you're well, and I definitely hope you're out there getting some riding and peace out. And if you haven't checked out the weekly Law Abiding Biker podcast, you're missing out because we talk about this kind of stuff and a whole lot more. It's a biker revolution.